Now the next thing we have to do is to add the text fields using our custom text field widgets. So for that purpose we have to initialize text editing controllers as it will be for the sign up so we need a form key for the sign up form. So global key form stat form key equals to global key form stats and then we will uh, air create name text editor text editing controller email password confirm password text editing controller phone text editing controller and location text editing controller and then what we can do here after the image inkwell we can add some space of height 11 and for the time saving we will go back to our sign in screen and from here our form widget we will copy this as a whole okay and then we will come back to the sign up screen and we will paste it here now of course we will change it so our form key is the form key here which we uh, initialize here okay global key and then column then our custom text field we have to import custom text field dot dot here on our sign up screen then we have password so let's go step by step first of all before email we will have custom text field for getting the seller name for which make sure to change the editing controller for the name the icon will be person okay so name then we will have uh, email then password and then confirm password so copy paste this confirm password down here now after the email let's add another text field which will be for the phone number of the seller and guys make sure to change text rating controller for the phone icon will be phone okay password it will be password the confirm password it will be confirm password text editing controller now copy paste this phone text editing controller and after the confirm password we will have the last field text field which will be by the uh, address so we can say location text editing controller and the icon will be my underscore location and hint string inside double quotes will be cafe slash restaurant address and then after this uh, cafe restaurant addressed custom text field we will have a button on which the, the seller will tap so we will get his phone uh, location that is current location which will be the cafe restaurant location so for that purpose we can say container width will be 398 height 39 alignment will be alignment dot center child elevated button dot icon and it has these three properties on pressed icon label on pressed when the seller click on this button you will get his location now guys please remember that here we are allowing the seller uh, to either manually put the uh, location either the seller can put manually in this text field okay or if the seller click on this button it will automatically get the seller uh, uh, location live location or you can say the current location so we give the seller option either to get automatically by clicking this button or the seller can put inside this text editing controller manually so anyways let's just quickly complete this the next property is icon so let's add icon for this which will be location underscore on and the color will be color start white also let's apply some style elevated button dot style from background color for this will be color start green 
shape will be let's make it uh, round with round rectangle border so we can say rounded rectangle border border radius will be border radius dot circular 32 and then finally the last property will be the label so the label will be get my current location we will apply some textile on it and of course the color will be color start white so now let's check out our app how it looks as you can see it of course this is our get my current location button and as this is the sign up page so make sure to change this button also to register or you can say sign up it is totally up to you and also between these two buttons let's add some space of height 32 and also after this button we can add some space and now of course if you want you can uh, set the margin and padding for our text fields so for example uh, if we go to the custom text field we will set this margin to 12 so you see okay let's say if you want to further do it from all sides so you see it is applied so you know this is the advantage of using reusable code that is now just at one place we have to do the change and it will be applied on our all text fields here on the sign up on the sign in and let's say later in the upcoming apps if we use it on any other page any text field it will be applied automatically on them as well so just we have to do the changes from one place and it is applied on the text fields here, on all the text fields here. So that is the advantage of using reusable code. That is we can maintain it easily.